Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at the Culture Shock event at um, Seawall Parramatta once again for the Retro Rock Live show on 89.3. Now, I'll try and get this right because he's just told me this once and I'm going to have a go at this. Here we go. <coughs> Mono Interami. Close enough. The, Close fir enough? the first one was a disease, though. The first name is Man Manu. Manu. Oh, yeah. well, you see, there you go. Well, I, I'm, I wasn't going to go there. I'm here with, with the Mono disease bit, you know Interami. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I like this bloke so far, it's all good. Look, we're here in Australia, you're enjoying yourself apparently. Yeah man, I'm having a good time. Now, you are most um, known by your Voyager title, which is Echeb. Yeah. Um, you worked alongside Jerry Ryan, which unfortunately we aren't able to have a chat with today, which is a bit disappointing, but that's alright, we've got you. Poor girl. That's uh, alright. She's a poor bugger. You know, uh, she's a little ill, maybe she's not doing it because she's sick. Not a problem at all. No. She's a lovely lady and I wish if you can just give her our, our regards and be okay. actually brilliant. For sure. So, your time on, on Voyager, you're seeing we're at a um, sci-fi convention, just give us a little bit of an insight with that. How, how did, you, did you find your time there? Did you enjoy your time? You oh, were I there would, for through a season and a half? Uh, or yeah, something, season and a half. I came on halfway through season six. Yeah. Um, uh, funny story how I got the part. I was, um, I was, I did a, the first thing I ever did uh, professionally was a, a little spot in this movie called Senseless with Marvin, yes. Marlon Wayans and David Spade. I did read and, about um, that, yeah. The, the, the guy that casted it also casted Voyager, but when I did that movie, I was god awful. It was my first. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first thing. I really, I blew it on the set. I kept putting the, this needle in front of my face and blowing the shot. And the director yelled at me, and uh, it was just a, you know, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. You know, I just choked. Um, I made the film still, but it, you know, they thought that actor sucks. So three years later, I'd had a little more experience, and my agent, who was a uh, gay, and the casting director was also gay, they were in a salon and they were getting their nails done. And my agent was like, you've got to see Monumente Reme for this Ichev role. And the casting director, uh, Ron Serma, he's like, no way, that actor's terrible. <laughs> um, but my agent got pissed. The lady that was doing his nails cut his finger. And he's oh, like, really? oh, my God, you cu I cut my finger. You're going to see my fucking client. You know? <laughs> um, so so we, got a, we got an audition, and I impressed them. Four auditions later, I read for Berman and Braga and the, you know, the, the bosses over there at Paramount. Yeah. And we got the role. And um, two years of just, uh, you know, there was nothing unfun about shooting that show. The cast was hilarious. We were always, you know, Bobby and Bob and Robert and Bob and Robert and Bobby. And and Bobby and, and Bob Bobby and Bobby and, Bobby and, and Rob and Rob and Rob. Just let's just keep going with yeah, the Robs. Yeah, they, those, <laughs> those guys, man, I mean, they, it was constant, constant just practical jokes and messing with the lines. And yeah. um, it was a riot to shoot that show. And, um, Excellent. You know, Robert Picardo could even, like, not even change the line and just do something with an inflection to make it funny. You know, I, yeah. was, I was laying there in the ta on a table once next to Seven. It was an episode where I was going to save her life. That's right. You were going to give her the you node or something yeah. throughout the day. Yeah. So I, I'm laying there, and Bar the, the line that Robert had was, was pain. Uh, seven of Nine goes, I, I caused him a lot of pain. And Picardo goes, yes, it was pain, and he was willing to endure. And just by changing the inflection during the scene, he leans over to Jerry and goes, yes, pain he was willing to endure. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, old, there's an old saying, it's not what you say, yeah. it's how you yeah, say you it. Say. <laughs> uh, and Picardo would do things at the end of the take, too. Like, you know, the, the line would be, uh, tell the captain I'll be there at 0600 or whatever. And, and instead, Picardo would say, tell the captain I think she's a righteous bitch. <laughs> you know, he just do shit like that, you know? So it was constant, constant hilarity. On oh, set. good God, I love that. Yeah. He hearing things like that, especially just those little tiny things that you enjoyed yourself mm -hmm. and being able to explain them the way you do mm -hmm. means that you, you had fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the same as what we do in radio, you know. Um, I've worked with a few different people here in Australia that um, are big names in radio. Mm. And I say the same thing. Like, I worked with Stuart Cranny, which is uh, one of our highest known radio personalities. He worked okay. for a couple of larger radios here. And the first time I met him, I walked past and he looked at me. He looked through the window and he points to me and he puts his finger across. He said, come here. I walked in and he says, you're Ben. I went, yep. Yeah. Mm. You do a good show. Good thing. Now, piss off. <laughs> now, piss off. <laughs> Uh, I, got, right. I, got an okay. I got an interest. Same thing. I worked. Okay. I worked for uh, Clint Eastwood and DiCaprio last year on a movie called J. Edgar, and it was just a small little role playing a gangster named Alvin Carpus. I just had two days on the movie, and uh, I was all nervous because been working for Clint Eastwood, man. You know, <laughs> yeah. know what you want? Yeah. So, so but the, well, the coolest thing is he comes over. He right when he came on set, I hadn't met him yet. He cast me off a tape. 
he walked over, you know, giving me the Eastwood stare real slow, <laughs> saunters over, you know. And he goes, oh, well, if it isn't Manu, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> elbows me and, you know completely put me at ease you know because you could just tell he was a cool guy he was like working with your funny uncle you yeah know? uh it's stuart was the same old cranny we call yeah. him cranny and each time i walked past i was coming in once a week to get my paycheck you know mm. and um i'd walk past he'd look out and he goes come here and he says right do you know how to use this no well i'll show you right now i've got work to do <laughs> yeah. right. Thanks, you know. and people like that that's how, you know yeah. what I mean? where you where you find people are actually so far, far down to earth yeah that they really don't people are laid back yeah, if they can just way. cut each other low and not Absolutely. freaking get uptight about it i agree i'm very much the same like steve's the same myself i've like i said i've been doing this 20 years and my um colleague mark flanagan he's very much the same as i am we don't take ourselves seriously. We, we try not to because life's too short to be serious with yeah. anyone, you know. And we don't want to be, oh, how you, how, what would we say, up yourself? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, you know, this was a fun interview, so piss off. No, oh, okay. All right. I'll, I'll, it's, 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 oh, hang on, hang on. What's, he, what's his name? Ozzy or something? Ozzy Osbourne, yeah, that's right. it. Yeah, Ozzy Osbourne, you know. Mm. It's, I, I think you're freaking mad. <laughs> and... and <laughs> yeah, or he about. says, I love you. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And the two things in life I hate is ignorance and arrogance. Yeah. And I work with many people. Um, and they are, usually go hand in hand. They do. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of the people I work with are, are CEOs and so forth because I do IT. Mm. And I walk into the room and the first thing I do when I walk in, g'day, how are you? I'm Ben. Mm. I don't don't walk in there prancing and prancing him uh, just because he's a CEO it makes no difference to me. Yeah, you know what? I he's, can't he's stand like, people. That, I immediately lose respect for people that are like, "Hey, man, how you doing, Jerry? Uh, that's Mister Johnson." Oh, oh he, absolutely. My fucking, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I mean, immediately, I'm like, you're not even human, man. That's just what. I, <laughs> funny story. The other day, I, I worked for a university, and we put some software in, into one of our labs, mm. and we were introduced to the person who was actually going to utilize the software. He says, hi, my name is Ken Dawson, Dr. Ken Dawson. Doctor. Oh, and Dr. Ken Dawson. You know what I did? I just turned around and said, yeah, g'day, Ken, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Doc. <laughs> Doc Brown. It's all right. <laughs> Back to me. Marty, Marty. <laughs> 86 miles an hour. <laughs> he does that really well, didn't he? Yeah. That is awesome. Marty. <laughs> nah, that guy was classic. Man. He was. Indeed. Why aren't they hiring that guy anymore? He should be working all the time. He's oh, fine. absolutely. Remember that dude in Taxi? Yep, that yep. Come, that was good stuff. So you're a real bad boy in the current thing that you're doing at the moment. One tree, you yeah. Aren't you? I played this, uh, yeah, basically character with no r r redeeming value whatsoever. He was a, a, a speed dealer, heroin dealer, coke mm. dealer, gun toting prick. Um, and I, I got to beat up women and, and choke them and shoot people, and it was great. Pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah it was great. great. <laughs> now, you're producing and starring in your own show soon, or is that already happening? Yeah, I just started uh, producing movies, and I, uh, we did this half a million dollar movie called Benjamin Troubles. should be out. We just finished the rough cut. Um, mm -hmm. It's like a, kind of a fast-paced romantic comedy meets gangsters and guns, like a gut type like Guy Ritchie type of film. Yes. Um, we should have that out about the middle of next year. Yeah. Um, I'm also producing, uh, we're raising money right now to, to shoot this movie called Pieces, about seven kids that go up to the mountains to celebrate a, a wedding that uh, one of their friends is having. And they hike deep into the national forest and they run into a, a psycho with a long-range rifle who hunts them on their way back to the car. Oh, and, crocky. Uh, it's got a great twist ending. Um, I'm actually going to be showing a little bit of that later. I, we shot a scene in a trailer okay, for it. Yeah. So we'll we'll, show we'll that pop in and time. have a look see at it later. Yeah. Not a problem at all. Also, if anybody's out there that wants to check out some latest stuff, I've got a, a World War II movie called Fortress that just came out on yes, DVD. Yes, I heard about that too. one. Yes. That's, um, kind of a Memphis Bell type of thing. Yep, I, I intend to have a look. Mm -hmm. So, and you're enjoying Australia. You're having fun here. We were just talking earlier about different types of football games here. Mm -hmm. You were down in Mexico before Melbourne. <laughs> He likes that. <laughs> you guys, that's just cra that's a crack up. But it's true. I, you know, I enjoyed all the people in Melbourne, but it's it's not even. Uh, Excuse me. Hang on. Hang on. It's not Melbourne. Melbourne or Melbourne. 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 There you go. There you go. All oh, right, we got yeah. it. Spot on. Damn, damn, on Melbourne. Yeah, um, Melbourne. Um, mate. Uh, <laughs> but it's not even a contest. I, I mean, the people there were fantastic. The convention there was fantastic, but. 
compared to Sydney. I mean, this place is gorgeous. You, you it's like funny that you guys even have a, uh, a rivalry. It's it's not even close, <laughs> you know. I got off the plane here. They picked me up in a limo. They brought me down to that badass Star Casino downtown. Oh, was, sweet. Yeah, I know Star I mean, Casino. Come on. Actually, see, see the name here? Yeah. I actually worked for them. I was a manager down there for a while. And we're, they're literally opposite the whole, oh, the, the whole office is. Right and um, I used to see so many different types of people walking in and out, so yeah. many different stars and so forth. It was quite yeah. fascinating, actually. I'd stand out there at lunchtime and go, hey, I know him. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah. <laughs> yeah gor- gorgeous digs, man. I was like, all right, Sydney's cool. <laughs> as long as you enjoyed yourself, mate. Yeah. Look, it's been an absolute pleasure having a chat with you. I wish we could speak for hours and hours. Um, last person I actually did chat to with, you'd, you'd know the person himself, Walter Koenig. Yeah. Loveliest man in the world, cheeky bugger. <laughs> oh, mate, you've got to go on my yeah. YouTube page and have a look at the um, video, but listen mm-hmm. to the interview. No, I will. And I think he's doing something cool in like a week or so. I think. Yeah. I think he might be getting a star on the walk or something like that. And uh, there's oh, a whole. Oh yes, he is. You've got the star. Yeah, he's he got the star. star. Yeah, well, he's got a, the star. There's like a, a whole. You know, he's doing a Walter Koenig celebration or something. He's an absolute gorgeous Hollywood. man. Yeah, absolute. Good dude. If you ever, have you ever ch- had the chance to meet him? Yeah, I um, did a couple of conventions with him in Germany and, yep. and you know, went to dinner and hung out for a bit. So. Yeah, I, I, he would not leave us and we were having a good old chat and I said, look, you know, it's about time, da 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 and he says, no, I can stay here all day if you like. And he said, yeah. I don't right, know, worries, let's get into yeah, it. Right on. <laughs> yeah. And it was just that kind of a person. He was yeah. absolutely beautiful. That whole cast is cool, man. All those all those cats. I mean, that's the original cast of the show. And they, they created everything that this whole franchise is. And they're all cool cats. Mm, absolutely. Um, getting up and getting a little long in the tooth, but still still, uh, still good guys. Good old Aussie saying, long in the tooth, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Romani, thank you yeah. very much, mate. Appreciate yeah. it. And I um, hope you have for yourself a lovely uh, time. When are you flying out? Uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, go back home. In and out. Back home. We'll yeah, back to, LA. back to LA. and going to go uh, have a lot of sex with my girlfriend in Paris afterwards. Lots of it. Lots of it on the street we, next we, to the <laughs> next to the river in public. I'm going to buy a trench coat and pick. You know, she's going to wear a skirt. It's all right, mate. Not a problem at all. Send us some photos. Yeah, I will. Yeah, all right.